This is a Rubik's Cube that I made of foam and magnets. Unfortunately, it's much more fragile than a normal Rubik's Cube. And this is version 2 of my Rubik's Cube. There are a few things that are different from the first version. For starters, the cubes are acrylic instead of foam because the cubes used to be different sizes. Now, they're the same size. They're also not squishy and easily deformed. Plus, they have rounded corners. Let me tell you what's inside it, how I made it, and how it works. What's inside it? There are 96 8 by 2 millimeter neodymium magnets and 12 12 by 3 millimeter neodymium magnets. There are also 27 22 by 22 millimeter acrylic blocks and stickers with the colors of a Rubik's Cube. How I made it. First, I colored one side of each magnet so we knew the polarity of each magnet. After that, I colored certain sides of every acrylic block so I would know what size magnet would be at each spot and where the magnets would go. Then, I drilled a little hole into each acrylic block so that the magnets could fit inside. Next, I put the magnets into the holes in the blocks. Finally, I repeated all that and just like that, all the cubes were done. Then, all I had to do was stick the stickers on them. How it works. If you turn this, the magnets turn in just a very easy way and make it work like a regular Rubik's Cube. Okay, now for the cube. My favorite thing about this cube is that it works, even though it's built completely differently than a regular Rubik's Cube. Although, but this is my favorite build I've ever made. That doesn't mean it works perfectly, but at least it is much more durable than version one.